That call means that the crew can take off the protective mask now that they've done a check of the air quality and determined there was no danger from debris inside. Discovery and station crews taking advantage of the fact that the Kibo is the largest laboratory on the station to stretch out and perform some acrobatics. The sign you saw mission specialist Aki Hoshide unfurl in front of the hatch for the of the Kibo module is a typical flag that hangs in the entrances of homes in Japan and it says Kibo, which is a Japanese word that means hope and gives the laboratory its name. As Hoshide and Karen Nyberg entered into the module, Hoshide held up another sign that said welcome in English and Japanese on one side and on the other side had a little promo promotional information for the Japanese Space Agency's astronaut recruitment program that's going on. The entire laboratory is a little less than 37 feet long and about 14 feet wide and again is going to be the largest that the station has on orbit. It weighed 14.8 tons at, at launch and has room for 23 racks but at the moment only four of them are inside because even with just four it was so heavy. Eight more are in the logistics module that was brought up on the last shuttle mission, STS-123. They'll be installed during this flight into the main laboratory module here beginning tonight with the installation of the, rather the transfer of the robotic arm workstation for the module. And there's the sign from earlier that again says Kibo in Japanese, hung by Japanese astronaut Aki Hoshide. Well done, Garrett. Well done. Golf clap.